Hi everybody, it's Emma from Bookmarks and Brush Pens and welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is having a good week. Uh, I know I am because I have been very productive lately with my bullet journal, so that makes me pretty happy. Um, I am joined in filming today by um, my puppy, Leah. Hold on, let me see if I can show her to you. Yep, there she is. <laughs> Who uh, didn't want to be left alone today, so I thought she might as well sit in my lap while I film. So, there you go. So if I make any weird movements, it's probably because I'm trying not to disturb the dog on my lap. Anyway, today's video is a what is in my writing case. I was recently asked by one of my lovely mutuals on Tumblr, uh, who's also named Emma, um, the Republic of Letters, what was in my writing case and where I got it, and I figured I would do uh, a video. So here we go. All right. So this is my writing case. Um, it is a vintage Lady Baltimore train case. Um, ladies used to use these for cosmetics and, and things along with their suitcases. Um, I got this, ooh, it's a little heavy. I got this for $16, uh, which I think was a steal, at a vintage um, slash antique store called the Silver Stag in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Um, I love it. It's green, it's got just enough room to hold all of my writing stuff. I think it is just one of the greatest things ever and one of my greatest buys ever. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna open this up real quick and show you. It's a little bit big for me to angle the camera down, which is why I'm just holding it in my lap. Um, I keep meaning to reline the top, uh, but it doesn't bother me enough that I'm going to do it anytime soon, to be totally honest. All right, so. So there is sort of the view in. It's going to be a little easier to see if I take out this one pen case on the top. So this is all the stuff that I can fit into my writing case. Um, generally, whenever I go anywhere, I have both my writing case and my purse with me. Um, and my purse is usually just big enough to hold my uh, Hobonichi and my keys. And then I take my writing case with me, which has everything else I need. Um, but sometimes I take just the purse, sometimes I take just the writing case, uh, but 90% of the time I've got this with me wherever I go. Alright, so let's jump into what is in it. Uh, so I guess we'll go from back to front. So the first thing that is in here is my iPad Pro um, with the Apple Pencil and uh, Logitech keyboard. Uh, this functions as my laptop. I do all of my editing, writing, um, Pretty much everything that I would have done on the computer, I do with this. Um, sometimes I do filming, but most of the time I film on my phone. Um, so I love this. This goes with me everywhere. I also use this a lot for digital calligraphy. Um, and recently I designed the trackers in my bullet journal on it. Um, it's one of my babies. Okay, so next is my bullet journal, uh, which is in an A5 Muji binder system. Um, I have a couple of different sections in here. See, these are just some pockets that I keep pictures that I put in my bullet journal. Uh, the first section is my daily entries. Oh, hi, Leah. She's decided she doesn't want to sit with me anymore. That's sad. Um, so these are my daily entries. I have the first section. First section is just for daily because I have trouble uh, with keeping collections and dailies together. It, it just kind of bothers me. Um, so my second section is all of my collections, all of my lists um, um, and notes and, and that sort of thing. And then this section is my trackers, which like I said, I designed on uh, GoodNotes using my iPad and then printed onto the um, Muji lined paper that fits in, in this binder. Um, and then this this section is going to be for extended notes and research and then the last section is just for scrap paper and practice One second Leah wants to get out of my room. All right. Sorry about that. We'll see if she comes nosing back in at some point All right, so next is my actual journal um, in my uh, We chew leather cover uh, Embossed with my name. I guess stamped with my name not embossed I love this thing, both the, the cover and the journal inside. Um, I just recently did a flip through of this journal, so if you would like to see inside of it, uh, just watch that video. So the next thing I have in here is my um, Rodia dot grid writing pad. Um, I always keep just some sort of, this is just sort of scratch paper and I always keep it in my writing case for anything I might want to put in, such as um, I did some testing with brush lettering, uh, I made 
a couple lists that um, I think for some reason I just didn't have my bullet journal with me, some practice calligraphy, um, but I always keep that in, in there so I have some paper to write with. Um, these two things are not usually in my writing case, but I stuck them in there because I just got them recently. These are uh, both, no sorry, not both. This is uh, Tim Holtz Ideology Pocket Cards. Um, and they are just little decorative cards that you can put in journals, bullet journals, scrapbooks, whatever. I thought these were really cute, so I went ahead and got a pack of them, and I put them in my writing case a couple days ago and just haven't taken them out yet. So that's why they are in there. And then this is um, artsy uh, book pages, which um, you can put, again, in whatever you would like. I use them for decoration in my bullet journal and in my actual journal. Um, and I got book pages because I love books and, and I also like this sort of vintage style that is that is in here. Um, yeah, so like I said, these two things aren't normally in my writing case, but they've just been in there for a couple of days because I keep meaning to use them in my journal. So, uh, and then I always have two books with me. Um, usually, whoop, there we go. Um, usually I have either one fiction and one nonfiction, or one more serious book and one slightly lighter book. Um, I have two fictions with me right now, um, which I am, I'm currently in the middle of reading both of them. I kind of jump bork and bork. I jump back and forth between books, um, and I I don't know, uh, I have a pretty good memory for what I've read, so I can usually pick up where I left off pretty easily. Um, so right now I have with me Kafka on the Shore by Haruki Murakami, and Here There Be Dragons by James A. Owen. I love young adult fantasy. Um, I think it's it's a little easier to read sometimes, but no less enjoyable than than adult novels. Or I guess I should say novels for adults. Okay. Um, so the next thing I have in my writing case is my planner, my Hobonichi. This also doubles as my wallet. Uh, right now it's being held close with uh, two Pilot Friction erasable pens, um, but I have recently ordered a multi-pen um, that has Pilot Friction refills, so that's going to be, that's what I'm going to be using pretty soon. Um, so like I said, this is my planner. I'll show you um, a couple of days. These are the previous couple of days and today. Um, so I use erasable pens so that I can move things around a lot. And then I also color code to uh, plan my day and then um, track what I actually did to see how closely I stuck to the plan. Um, this has been working pretty well for me recently. It's to help combat um, ADHD and depression. Um, if you would like a video on this system, please let me know and I will get on filming that. All right, so um, then I have headphones. Just in this little, they came with this little case. These are um, uh, Bose, I think, in-ear headphones. Uh, they are the greatest things ever. I can wear them while running and they will never pop out of my ears. Um, and I, I use them all the time. So unfortunately, my phone um, does not have a headphone jack, but um, I have an adapter for it so I can still use these. Okay, so then I've got my Franklin Kristoff uh, fountain pen, Model 66. It came in this little pouch, and um, since it doesn't have a clip, it wouldn't fit extremely well in my pen case, so I decided I'd just keep it in here and um, just plop this little thing in my writing case. It's pretty easy to see. And then the last thing I have is my pencil slash fountain pen case slash everything else that I've tucked in here. Um, if you would like to see what is in here, uh, go ahead and check out one of my previous videos where I go through everything that's in my pencil case, pen case. It's got one mechanical pencil in it, so I'm not sure why I keep calling it a pencil case, but there you go. Um, so like I said, yeah, if you wanna see what's in here, go ahead and check out one of my previous videos. All right, so then I'm just gonna pack everything real quickly back in here so you can see how easy it is. What I really love about this train case is it's exactly the right shape for me to put notebooks, um, pen cases, pads, uh, pads of paper, um, actual books uh, with the little things left over, um, like my headphones and, and that sort of thing. Um, I'm really pleased with it. It's really sturdy. Um, I, I can't really use it as something to write on, but it will do in a pinch. Um, so let's get everything back in here. 
Mm. And there you go. There's everything back in. And then just flip that down. And there it is. All right, so I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, I think my next one will probably be either on my bullet journal or my Hobonichi, and I am still working on the fountain pen video. Uh, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Hey guys, um, so I just realized that when I went through my case, I forgot um, that I'd taken this out. Um, this is just a little pen case um, or pen pouch with uh, all of my highlighters um, and all the pens I use for my bullet journal. Um, and then um, a tape runner, a little ruler, and a pair of scissors. So these are um, my bullet journal supplies and my planner supplies.